Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome back to the 31 Days of Doodles with NYC Planner Addicts and Anna and me. I'm so excited to get on with day two. I was um, so inspired by watching Anna's live earlier today that um, I'm just rearing to go. In fact, I wanted to go on earlier, but I was like, no, let me <laughs> let me take my time and get myself together and focus so that I can be as efficient as possible. But um, you can see that I'm like all over the place with these ideas. So um, today is the second. Um, I'll show you what I've been doing really quickly here. We have a calendar on the first page, so I found these check mark icons, which I really like because um, they're clear, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to put um, just mark those days that I've completed. So this is for today, the second. These are also like a, a great size, like they're in um, portrait mode. So I imagine if you were so inclined, this would be a cool place to draw like a tiny doodle I may go ahead and do that um, I have like a, a fine tip pencil here I might do that let's let's see how it goes so um, let me like put this here and then let's talk about today so um, I already said I was inspired by Anna's live she said a couple of things about the the doodle in particular um and again I, I can't say enough how much i love like these representations of the affirmations and the um journaling prompts so for today the affirmation was my creative energy has no limits and she has um the, the figure uh the person is holding up either um, she's holding up the sun or she could just kind of like be um, opening up her arms and like maybe embracing that energy that's coming from the sun. While Anna was doing the doodle, she told us a little bit about herself. Um, she was vitamin D deficient, so she enjoys that, that time outdoors. Um, I have the same affliction. I'm vitamin D deficient as well. They take some supplements. I think everybody is in North America, right? Um, we're not outside as much as we should be. Um, I try to get outside every day um, in the morning and in the afternoon. In the spring and the summer, I'm outside like all the time. Um, and in the winter too, like I talked about that yesterday a little bit, like I really love the, um, I love the, the four seasons and, and being outside. Um, but especially in the sun, it just does feel so good on your skin. So Anna was saying that she will go outside um, and put her face up to the sun and um, like just absorb that energy. And I think that this is a really great doodle for that. Um, I, I just wanna, I'm going to, mark down like some of my notes from her talk so um i'll say like the the, the first thing was the um like put your face up to the sun to absorb that energy Um, and especially if you're vitamin D deficient, but I, I think it does, it does feel good. I did read an article a couple of months ago that said for children specifically, when they spend a lot of time outdoors, um, they, they have better vision, like over, um, like over their lifetimes. So um, if that's not a uh, impetus to, to be outside, let your kids outside, I think that's a good study. Um, the next uh, thing was, um, no, actually, I think that's the only thing that she said about, about this, but then she had some thoughts like when she started coloring it in, and I'll, I'll touch on those when I start doing my embellishments on this doodle. 
Um, what I will do now is I'll answer the question. So the journaling prompt is, what creative things do you have the opportunity to do every day? Um, this is a really good one. Um, I think that there are some practical things that I do every day that I can be creative with. Um, things like like cooking, and it sounds it sounds strange, but like meal planning can be creative. Um, so I'll say like some practical things, like the things that we have to do anyway. Um, so I'll say like cooking and meal planning. Um, I try to uh, do some new recipes, though, um, as long as they're not like time intensive or um, like where the where the time making the recipe is not worth the the payoff of of eating it. And I'll I'll describe an example here. Um, I had uh, gotten some shrimp. Um, someone had gone to one of those restaurant depot, depot stores and bought, um, I don't know, it was something crazy, like maybe like 10 pounds of shrimp and she was like, I'll take five and you take the other five and I was like, oh great, like I love shrimp, like five pounds of shrimp or, or whatever, how many pounds it was, sounds wonderful to me. So I got this shrimp and um, it was not shelled. Or, or veined, you know, the, the process of like, you have to clean the shrimp and take all the shells off and um, do a lot of prep before you can make it. And that prep took such a long time. Like the shells like would not come off neatly. Um, it was just like gross. Like there was like black stuff in the, you know, like the spine of the shrimp. And um, I was so turned off by that whole process of cleaning the shrimp and stuff that um, and the cooking of the shrimp took less time than it did to clean it. Um, maybe like 10 minutes on the pan, you saute the, the shrimp and it was OK. But I was like, you know, like I would for the amount of work that it was, I would just not eat shrimp anymore at home like maybe I'll just get them outside or like buy them um deveined and, and deshelled I think that's money worth spent so a uh, creative thing for me like with with that example is to buy some prepared shrimp and um you know do it in one of my pasta dishes so that um and try to recreate one of those dishes with the shrimp that I would get outside um, another creative thing is like coffee, like coffee and tea drinks. I love uh, drinking coffee and tea. Um, and I've gotten so good at making coffee at home. Like I experiment with beans and I experiment with like grind sizes and pour over methods and stuff like that. That when I have coffee outside, it's always kind of a letdown. You know, um, so that's that's something I, I enjoy, and being creative a lot is a, a great outlet for me for something that I would have to do anyway. Um, drinking coffee in the morning. Um, another thing is um, maybe like doing creative solutions for um, I don't know, like maybe like housework or like homework or um, like helping my child with his homework, finding creative solutions for that, um, finding resources for things. I am great at finding resources, um, especially like where there or, or stretching resources when, um, and I'm just thinking about like past jobs that I've had where there was uh, like not a budget for things. Um, I used to work in a nonprofit. There wasn't a budget for things, and I was really good and scrappy about um, you know workarounds and things that we could do to achieve our our goal. Um, so those are the practical things, and then there's like maybe like more creative. What's the opposite of practical? Impractical? No. 
Um, but what I'm looking for is a word that, um, I'll just say artsy, the artsy side the artsy side of creativity because that is where most people think of when they think about being creative and um, I will look at things in the world and see if I can translate that into my art um, like lately it's been um, finding a lot of inspiration for journaling pages um, I think actually even like coming up with this with with this program I got to work with um, like Anna who is amazing and like coming up with these um, journal prompts and the affirmations and uh, last month with the 28 days of wellness I think that was a very creative um, thing to work on and it was a wonderful outlet um, to work on with Estrella who is so talented um, especially where I didn't have a lot of experience with yoga so um, I think things like things like that and um, maybe like like projects like I get to uh, ex express my creativity in working on projects so I could I could probably expand more on this and I will in my two-page spread but uh, let's get into working on embellishing this doodle um, so I'm going to do the same or I'm going to use the same uh, medium that I did yesterday um, and I think I'm going to use these for probably most of the month and just mix it up with maybe using an, another like acrylic marker or gelatos or the highlighters and the pens um, like I did last month but I'm really enjoying these watercolor pencils so um, at the very least I I think I will use them every single day of this challenge so um, and we'll, 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 we'll see we'll see how I feel day by day but I'm definitely using them today um, what I'm going to do is um, I'll tell you what materials I have right now. I have these uh, watercolor markers. I have my um, cup with a couple of brushes. These are, there's three brushes and what one is, the widest one is maybe about a quarter of an inch wide. There's a smaller one and there's the smallest one. So they're all pretty small because um, I'm working within a small surface area. And um, even though these are watercolor, I do like to have a lot of control and I feel like I get more control from a smaller brush. The last one I have is this paint. This is a paintbrush. It's a foam paintbrush. Um, and I'm gonna use this to wet my paper and then I'm going to use the watercolor pencils right on top of the wet paper. So I didn't wet it that much. I did about two strokes. So you can see that the paper is wet. Um, it's actually starting to dry a little bit. So I guess I didn't put enough water. I just want to get a little bit like um, damp and then I'm going to start coloring this in. So I'm going to start with the sun uh, because it's the lightest color. It's going to be that yellow. So you can see that the um, the pencil really blends in like you can hardly you cannot see like a very harsh line at all it just kind of melts into the paper and I'm gonna carry that yellow like all around these the rays of the Sun and then uh, and I'm working quickly because the paper is drying this paper type is um, uh, 28 pound printer paper um, and I like it because it has a little bit of heft to it um, but it's not too it's not too thick um, it's just right for me so I want to color in um, like her her uh, outfit um, I'm using blue because I think the blue is a great contrasting color for yellow um, and orange I'm going to bring in some orange to this 
picture. Um, and now I'm going to bring in some features for her. Um, oh, I'm going to get another blue. Uh, so I imagine like she could have like very flowy hair. You can see that those strokes would be coming like very wide because the paper is wet. So yeah, so here her hair is just kind of flowing and she has, she has curly hair. Um, so I'm imagining she's like, I don't know, maybe like by an ocean or something and her hair is blowing, the sun is beaming down at her. Um, let me give her some blush. Um, going to draw like her mouth. Like her mouth might be a little wide. I think I'll fix that when I um when I color this in. And then um, she, yeah, I imagine she would have her eyes closed. Um, Anna did mention this in, when she was doing her her version of this this doodle um, that it was kind of funny because she said her kids were giving her a hard time about her eye the eyes being closed all the time and um, if I went outside and, and went to look at the sun my my eyes would definitely be closed too so it's totally appropriate for this for this picture um, so I'm just feeling like shading in her shirt I'm going to blend her hair a little bit. I'm going to keep some of those um, strands like distinct. I do want her hair to like show the curliness that I imagine she would have. Um, and then I'm going to shade in her face. Um, so I'm going to use these, I think these three colors. So this is like a, maybe like a peach. Then there's like a tan. And then there's a darker brown. I'm kind of keeping the peach in the center. And then I'm going around with that tan. And then the darker brown will be like in the shadow. And I also want to color her neck in. Um, and then the shadow would be like around the outside of her face. So I'm going to blend that part in. I'm going to use the uh, smallest brush because this is like such a small area. I'm just starting from the middle and I'm just blending a little outward. And then lastly, I'm going to um, blend the sun. And I do want to bring in some orange here. Like I'm imagining that the sun's rays are just coming out and in my vision they would be orange. I'm gonna wet this more. I really want that yellow to blend and I'm just going in a circular motion to see if I can pull some of that orange in or pull some of that orange out rather. Okay, so there, there we have it. So there's our very simple doodle. So now um, I'm ready to do the, the two page spread. I'm gonna leave this open. I'll just put it aside so that it can dry while we work on 
the, the two page spread. Um, I think that uh, I really enjoyed how yesterday's two page spread looks and it feels great. I used the, um, I used gelatos here. So the, um, the paint